Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom series. Today, we have traveled to Atlanta for the Atlanta 100. This is going to be race number four in the More Freedom series, season four. And with only three races down, the points, I mean, it's, it's early in the season, so let's go through your current top ten. Your points leader is the 88 of NM. Second place will be the number three of Geek Girl Games. Third will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Fourth will be the 211 of Hog. Fifth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Sixth will be the 49 of Jetman. Seventh will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Eighth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Ninth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. So points are very close at the top. Um. Let's go through your team and chassis standings. Douche Motorsports still leads away. Amish Buggy Racing second. MBR third. G3 Motorsports fourth. And rounding out the top five, Aces Dezed Motorsports. Chassis standings look like this. Chevy, Dodge, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all your points and all your point standings going into this Atlanta race. They are getting these cars dialed in here for this Atlanta 100, and I think it's about time, so let's go racing. Let's go through your starting top 10 today for this Atlanta 100. Starting on the pole will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, and on his outside, the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Starting third will be the 8 of Moon Bunny, and on her outside, the 07 of Douche Baggins. Starting fifth will be the 660 of Garrett Miller, and on his outside, the 799 of Mike Chick. Starting 7th will be the 13 of King of the Aces, and on his outside, the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Starting 9th will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 72 of Duchess. So that's a look at your starting top 10 today here for this Atlanta 100. And uh, first pull of the year for that 71 of Kung Fu Beer in the Ford. Only, again, only two Fords in the, in the, uh, in the field this year. So good run right now for him. His teammate, the 40 of Veteran Chaos, also starting in the top 10 today. So we'll see if they can lock it down for the Kager Racing um, as the 29 of Wishbone Attack starts on his outside. And last week, oh, Moon Bunny had it last week, but she's starting right behind him. So let's, as we watch that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car duck in, Green flag is out, and we are underway here at Atlanta. Moon Bunny looks like she's almost ready to slip down to the inside of that 71 of Kung Fu Beer as they fight down the backstretch. 660 of Garrett Miller down to the inside. Or down to the bottom as well as he is down to the inside of the 71 of Kung Fu Beard. Trying to lead lap one is going to be that eight of Moon Bunny. She's going to try to take over as what she did last week as the 660 of Garrett Miller makes it three wide. Going into turn number one, KFB slides high out of the turn. Falling back a little bit as the 13 of King of the Aces now down to his inside. High speed racing here at Atlanta as... King's teammate, the 420 at Queen of Hearts, right there behind him. Here comes the 10 of Scooter. Fall right behind him is going to be the 356 of Ice Cream Someday. So your leader as of right now looks like it's going to be the 13 of King of the Aces. Well, let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on the left. Favorite driver is going across the top. As we see that three wide action throughout this entirety of this pack, it is going to be a wild day here today at Atlanta. As we see that 33 of Harvey Jones, who has done a lot this season for RP Racing. He's had some great cars. Great cars, not so great finishes for that 33 of Harvey Jones as we see three of the Amish buggy racing vehicles right here in that triple seven of Seabass almost sandwiched as we see the three five six of ice cream some days gets into the outside wall right there your leader on oh my goodness we have a crash on the track major accident as we see that 25 of JTM is into the wall head first oh we got the 29 of wishbone attack on his lid so major accident here at Atlanta. 
as they race back to this caution. Here comes the 33 of Harvey Jones. He's going to slow down. Actually, he, they've already raced back to that caution. Your leader on the track is that 33 of Harvey Jones, it looks like. Um, second place is going to be that 3 of Geek Girl Games. We're going to pick up the pieces in just a minute as the 33 catching up to the back of that pace car. Looks like they might already be heading towards the pits. But we're going to watch and see what happens here as lots and lots of people involved in that caution. As we saw the 29, a wishbone attack on his roof. So uh, we're going to see who all is involved as the 33 of Harvey Jones leads us down pit road here at Atlanta down to his pit stall. Right side tires going on for that 33 for Harvey Jones. Right behind him is that 20 of Adam B5000. Fuel going in. Looks like a two tire stop for the 33. Looks like he is taking some extra time. Not sure if he had some damage or what. As we see some damage on the left side and the rear end of that 34, a super snake. Also, the 777 has some damage. We did see the 203 and the 25 involved in that. Looks like the three of Geek Girl Games is going to lead us out onto the track. Um, we'll note that the 96 of Nico will have led a lap there as it looks like he was the leader as they crossed the line. So I think that might be his first lap led of this season. But... Now that things have quieted down just a little bit, let's go through that caution because it was a major one. Well, this caution is going to be brought out by the 203 of Signs. Uh, just kind of, I don't know if it was a rookie mistake as much as it was just four wide racing action here at Atlanta. Uh, he is going to get into his car owner, the 07 of Douchebaggins, and that's what's going to start the melee here. Well, let's get a look at this from the inside of the 29. And from the roof cam of the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So leading us back to take this green flag is going to be that three of Geek Girl Games on our outside. It's the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Right behind her is that 96 of Nico. As they come down, we are back under green here at Atlanta. We'll go through those out of the race as of right now. That is going to be the 07 of Douchebaggins out of this race. The 203 assigned still in the pits. The 356 of Ice Cream some days out and the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Dutch is currently showing one lap down as the 96 of Nico pushing out there to the little bit of a lead over that three of Geek Girl Games. He is going to lead another lap here at Atlanta, but that bottom line, the 660 and the 666 for Amish Buggy Racing pushing out to the front right now as that rookie Pistol Pete out to the front of this field. As we see the rookie, the 666, now up to the top line there as the 660 of Garrett Miller out to the front here at Atlanta, kind of settling down, hopefully, hopefully settling down as a 20 of Adam B5000 battling right now with the 23 of Fuller Than You. And watching as this three wide battle now with a 33 of Harvey Jones and your points leader. The 88 of NM who barely came through that incident unscathed as the 8 of Moon Bunny and the 88 of NM have now hooked up on the track again for the second week in a row. As remember last week that 88 and the 8 had awesome cars with the 88 just... No, it was... Who was it went last week's winner? 88 was two weeks ago. Last week's winner was... I don't even remember. <laughs> what? The 8 of Moon Bunny. Oh, it was the 777 of Seabass. 
unfortunately, the triple seven now down in 26th position here. As they're catching up to that 34 to Super Snake. Super Snake, a rolling roadblock here at Atlanta. All these cars on the binders as the 799 of Mike Check making his way around. The 34 of Super Snake is just super slow. We might be seeing a black flag for that 34 of Super Snake in just a minute. Let's catch back up here to the front of this field. As the 203 of Signs is back out on the track, your leader is the 8 of Moon Bunny. So we're going to keep an eye as we, we're going to check up here as we're looking through this field as we do see several of these cars from that incident as the 666 just finally able to get around that 34 of Super Snake. We're watching as the 88 and the 33 who had hooked up in the draft are catching up to the 8 of Moon Bunny. So the 88 of NM is trying to keep his lead in the points as he is running behind the 8 of Moon Bunny right here. On what lap are we on? We're on lap number 17 here at Atlanta. Again, only three people out as a result of that caution. Signs able to get his car fixed and back out. Currently running seven laps down. As we have a battle right now on the as that 72 of Duchess, she was also involved in that caution. And so her car is off the pace as the eight of Moon Bunny, her teammate, catches up to her here on the front stretch. Looks like the 88 and them have to slow down just a little bit as the 33 of Harvey Jones drop it to the bottom right there. So the 88 caught up with a great block by the teammate of the 8 of Moon Bunny as they swoop off the turn right here. 88 still caught up behind her as the 33 of Harvey Jones and the 8 of Moon Bunny work in lap number 19 here at Atlanta. Uh, 19 of 65 laps here today. And I can't say green flag laps because there was a one caution right so far. Hopefully only one today as the 799 of Mike Check now peeling down to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones as they catch up to the 34 of Super Snake again. Super Snake, he's got the right to be out there on the track as he is working, trying to get keep, keep some points as the three of Geek Girl Games gets stuck behind him. As the 23 of Fuller Than You with a head of steam just plows around the outside right there. Jumping back up to here to the front as they're about to catch up to the triple seven of Seabass. So the 799 of Mike Check around down to the inside. Here comes the 11 of TC Roberts down to the inside of that triple seven of Seabass, who again involved in that caution. Uh, last week's winner, tough break so far for him here today as he currently runs in the 26th position. Uh, your leader on the track is the 799 of Mike Check. The 799 of Mike Check is your leader as of right now. So Mike leading the way with the 11 of TC Roberts right there behind him. So an Aussie and a Brit up here at the front of the field right now for the More Freedom Series as that Thirsty Camel bottle shops for the Drop Bear Racing Team, driven by the 799 of Mike Check, the owner of that Drop Bear Racing Team, is followed right there by the 11 of TC Roberts for Aces to Zed Motorsports, two Toyotas battling it out for the top position as that Dodge for MBR, the 51 of AJM right there in the third, the third spot. Currently, we're watching that 11 of TC Roberts down to the inside of that 799 of Mike Check. We're going to see what the 51 does. He pushes down to the inside. He's going to follow along with that 11 of TC Roberts. He's, I think he's thinking about getting down to the inside of the 11 here. And he is as they work down into the turn. The, whoa, very close as it looks like we got pit stops here on the track. We're going to follow along. With that 799, we're going to see who stays out, who comes in. Looks like everybody into the pits as of right now. So your leader on the track was the 11. It looks like it's going to be the 8 of Moon Bunny. As the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, who is your pole sitter today, 
he comes off the track running in the sixth position. So he is looking for his first win of his career still in that 71 of Kung Fu Beer. So it looks like right side tires for the eight of Moon Bunny, right sides for the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, fuel going in, left side tires going on for that eight, left sides for the 71. As the 11 of TC Roberts out of the pits in the first position as of right now. Right behind him is going to be that 51 of AJM, then the 799, then the 8. So Moon Bunny going to have led that last lap as she gets that car for Douche Motorsports wound up. Heading down the back stretch. Your leader as of right now is the 11 of TC Roberts. Uh, last car on the lead lap, I do believe, is going to be the 10 of Scooter. He is just right there in front of your leader. The 11 of TC Roberts, Scooter involved in that early caution. So he is going to try to battle back uh, and see what he can do. As the 11 of TC Roberts is your leader, we'll check back through this field. Second place is going to be the 51 of AJM. Third is going to be the 799 of Mike Check. Fourth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Fifth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Sixth will be the 49 of Jetman as we see some battling right there for the positions. Seventh will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Eight will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Ninth will be the three of Geek Girl Games rounding out your top ten. Will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Zed, who we haven't talked about much this year, currently running 21st in points. Definitely looking for a good points paying day or points day. He's looking for a good points day to your today. So we're going to see what he can do. As we have three wide battle right here on the track for the seventh position between the three of Geek Girl Games and the 20 and the 71. As you see that 34 is Super Snake peeling off onto the track. They're doing a little bit more work on that car. We're going to see if he hangs down to the bottom. The, set, the 20 of Adam B5000 slows down. As the 95 of Zed Brunna gets right there behind him, we're going to see if he can push underneath with his teammate 23 of Fuller Than You right now. So the 34 is Super Snake still out there trying to make points as it's a long season. Catch back up here to the front as we see the 11 of TC Roberts now has contention by the 49 of Jetman. So Jetman who I thought was going to be our winner last week. Um, unfortunately did not with that late, late, late race caution. Or, I'm sorry, late race pit stop. Has now pulled out to the front of this field here at the Atlanta 100. On a lap number 30 of 65 as we head towards halfway. Looks like they're about to catch up to that 72 of Duchess. As we saw... The 203 assigns back into the pits. I'm sure that's just for normal pit stops as of right now. But the 799 of Mike Check takes back over here at the front of the field at the Atlanta 100. Again, good looking livery this season on that 799 of Mike Check with the 799 FM on the side and the Thirsty Camel Bottle Shops as well. But that 49 of Jetman now has help from his teammates. The 51 of AJM, but AJM slides high as the 33 of Harvey Jones tries to work in behind that 49 of Jetman. Harvey down to the inside right now. As we see him down to the inside of the 49, followed right behind him is going to be the 11 of TC Roberts and that 8 of Moon Bunny. Moon Bunny about to make it three wide with the 11 as the 11 gets way off the, the racing groove right there. Able to keep it on the track. He's right behind him is the 51 of AJM as they come off of turn two. Down the back stretch they head. Your leader on the track, still the 799 of Mike Check. The 51 of AJM right behind these cars. He is looking to get up back up there to the front. I don't know if AJM has led a lap here today. He's currently has not led a lap. So the 799 of Mike Check gives up the lead here to the 33 of Harvey Jones as the 8 of Moon Bunny now knocking on the door. Down into turn 3 they head. The 8 of Moon Bunny down to the inside. Here comes the 51 of AJM and his teammate, the 49 of Jetman. As this 6 car battle for the lead here on a lap number 35 as we have surpassed the halfway point. We'll have to go back and check 
the replay to see to make sure we give those points out to the correct driver here today. Five bonus points or five bonus points as that 34 is Super Snake Lumen. And the front looming up at the they're going to catch up to him. They're catching up to him in just a minute as the eight of Moon Bunny is still your leader here as a 34 of Super Snake sliding down to the bottom of the track. So they check up for the 34 of Super Snake. The 799 of Mike Check takes back over as your leader. Here comes the 11, the 33, the 49 finally down to the bottom. He's able to get around that 34 as well as the 8 of Moon Bunny finally making her way around that 34. Let's check back here and see what's going on as we see the 71 of Kung Fu Beer leading pack number two right now with the three of Geek Girl Games and the 13 and the 95, the 23, and the 20. This pack right here is for up to 11th position. So this is like uh, 7th through 11th or 7th through 12th right now. As the 420 and the 88 running out here on an island with the, each other. Keep dropping back through this field as the 25 and the 96 hooked up on the track right now. JTM was involved in that early caution. Uh, looks like they have been working on that 25 car. He is currently in the 18th position as they work down the back stretch. Here comes a 40 of Veteran Chaos who looks like he may have also been involved in that early caution. As here your leaders are about to put the 329 of Heck of a Duber a lap down and the 211 and 211 of Hogs a lap down. As the 799 of Mike Check in this five car, now five car breakaway as they lost the eight of Moon Bunny. They are working towards the catching up to that next pack that they're about to put a lap down. The triple seven of Seabass, who is already two laps down. They're about to put him three laps down. And the 329 of Heck of a Dubert, who was involved in that caution along with the 211 of Hog. As it looks like the 11 of TC Roberts is ducking off. He's about to get into the pits here, it looks like. 799 of Mike Check working down to the inside with a 33 of Harvey Jones, a 211, and a 329, both for Douche Motorsports. Let those cars go as they work down the backstretch. So slow cars did slide up high for the leaders as you see that 8 of Moon Bunny trying to catch up here. Your leader still that 799 of Mike Check. He is going to peel off the track. Looks like 211 is going to get his lap back as they head into the pits. Here on lap number 41, 24 laps left to go here at Atlanta. See Mike Check ducking into his pits. A little bit of a slow, had to slow up a little bit due to the three of Geek Girl Games. So we're going to see how that affects his this pit stop for him. As uh, left side tires now going on to the 7099, the Thirsty Camel Bottle Shops. He is down and away. The 33 of Harvey Jones down and away as a race off a of pit road. So Harvey might be your leader here as Mike Check has led 12 laps here today. Again, only the 07, the 356, and the 29 out of this race as of right now. Here comes the 51 of AGM, full head of steam as he heads into three and four. Warmed up tires on that 51 of AJM for MBR. He's gonna to try to catch up to the 33 of Harvey Jones as the 777 and the 211 coming out of the pits. So Harvey able to keep the lead as of right now. We'll check up and 660 of Garrett Miller might be the last car on the lead lap here today. So your leader on the track is at 33 of Harvey Jones looking for another win here in the More Freedom Series, as is all these drivers looking for another win as the, uh, the 51 of AGM down to his inside as of right now as the 799 of Mike Check trying to work down to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones. Here comes that 49 of Jetman and the 11 of TC Roberts. Again, that's five car breakaway up here at the front of the field. 
So AJM for MBR out to the point right now here in the Atlanta 100 with 21 laps to go. It looks like we are going to have at least one more. I believe we're going to have one more stop here today before the end of this race. So it's going to be a short stop. Maybe hopefully they're working on their pitch strategies right now. Maybe just fuel only. Maybe two tires. Depends on how many laps are left, I guess, here at the end of this race. They are absolutely just hammered down around this Atlanta Motor Speedway. Our fastest lap of the day is by that 51 of AJM at 25.945 miles per hour or seconds or 213.683 miles per hour. So a chilly day here today at Atlanta, but they're able to get those speeds up very, very, very high as his last lap speed was about a 208. So he's dropped off a few miles per hour, about, uh, I would say about six tenths of a second is what he's lost. And that's about seven miles per hour here at Atlanta as he is battling with that 33 of Harvey Jones and the 799 of Mike Check for the lead of this race with under 20 to go. Harvey down to his inside. And the 799 of Mike Check as well. And here comes that 11 of TC Roberts and the 49 of Jetman. 300 of Resemble. Currently the last car on the lead lap. As it looks like the 10 of Scooter is one lap down. 203 of Signs making his way into his pits again. Again, Signs involved in that early caution. And he has... You have to give it up for him as he has just really been working to stay out on this track, get his car at least to the end of this race. If he can get one lap up on the 34 of Super Snake, that's one more position in the points. So three or four, three to five more points for him. So your leader now on the track is the 49 of Jetman, but that 11 of TC Roberts is looking to take over the lead from him as they're about to catch up to the 10 of Scooter. So Scooter going to kind of roadblock him here as they head down the backstretch. The 49 of Jetman dropping down to the inside. The 11 going high. The 51 going low as, as well as the 33 of Harvey Jones and the 799. So damaged vehicles on the track. And so these leaders have to work around them as the 49 of Jetman has now caught up to the 300 of Resemble. He's about to put him a lap down. Drops down there in front of his teammate, the 51 of AJM. As the 33 of Harvey Jones makes it three wide through the turn as he is to the back bumper of that 49 of Jetman. So all these cars up here at the front, just they're absolutely hooked up right now. The 33, the 49, the 799, the 51, and the 11. As they're about to catch up to the 660 of Garrett Miller to put him a lap down. And then after Garrett, it looks like the 25 of JTM will be next on their list. So the 799 of Mike Check to the back bumper of the 660 of Garrett Miller for Garrett driving for Amish Buggy Racing again this year. No, new as he's now driving for Amish Buggy Racing this year after Showstoppers Racing and Amish Buggy Racing combined together to switch to Dodge and to add in, I think they're up to five drivers. So yeah, 51 of AJM now out to the point, possibly over that 799 of Mike Check. Looks like the 660 of Garrett Miller. He just needed that draft as that lead pack was running considerably faster than him. Uh, his previous lap was a 203, so they were running probably six to three to six, three to five miles per hour faster per lap than that 60, 60 of Garrett Miller, but he was also running out there by himself. Again, he's the first car a lap down, so if we do see a caution, Garrett will be the lucky dog. He would get his lap back. And so he is going to be hoping for a caution. He is going to be hoping that the 34 of Super Snake, his teammate, absolutely blocks the 51 of AJM as much as he can as AJM drops down to the inside. Unfortunately, that 660 is going to slide in behind him, but that's okay because he is a lap down. He's going to pull down in front of that 49 of Jetman. He's going to get a little bit of a help 
by that 49. So again, one lap down is that 660 of Garrett Miller. If he can hopefully get a caution, then he would be able to um, get his lap back. But they are setting their sights on the 25 and the 40 of Veteran Chaos. About to put those two cars a lap down as Vet and JTM head out of turn four. AJM possibly coming in. Yes, this will be his final stop of the day. So let's watch as MBR pit crew for the 51 of AJM go to work on that Zen Dodge. Here with nine laps to go. Pulls off the track as a leader. He is in. They are going right side tires on that 51. We'll see if this is going to be a four tire stop or a two tire stop. As we see that 13 at King of the Aces coming in and the 51 is down and away to stop two tire stop and fuel for the 51 of AJM looks like that's what's going to be for the 11 of TC Roberts AJM is going to pull back out onto the track and right behind him is going to be that 34 a super snake I'm, I'm sorry that's who's in front of him it's going to be the 11 of TC Roberts. So we're going to see where the other drivers pull out onto this track as he catches up to that 34 Super Snake. Able to get around him in a pretty easy fashion right there. So Super Snake didn't hold him up, so that's good. He's making his way way past the 33 of Harvey Jones. There's that 799 of Mike Check. He's going to get a good run on the 799. So it might be this the 51, the 799. I don't know. We'll check to see who's in front there. It looks like it's going to be the 799. Uh, Moon Bunny came into the pits in second, but there comes that 51 of AJM. He has worked to the back bumper of the 799 of Mike Check with seven laps to go here at, at Atlanta as the 660 of Garrett Miller pulls into traffic here. AJM has to slide to the outside. He's going to get a little bit blocked there by the 660 of Garrett Miller. Garrett's going to try to pick up the draft. Maybe help that 51 of AJM. Or maybe not. As again, the 660 of Garrett Miller is going to be the first car a lap down here at Atlanta. But they're looking to pass that 25 of JTM who has just been a little bit off the pace. Due to that incident early on, as we see the 8 of Moon Bunny and the 40 of Veteran Chaos up there in front of them. So the 51 of AJM getting stuck behind his teammate, the 25. Let's check back there to the next pack, as it looks like the 11 and the 33 racing with each other. The 49 just out here all by himself as the 88 and the 13 racing for the sixth position right now. So your leader was that 799 of Mike check, but the 51 of AJM pulling down to his inside. They're about to catch up to some lap traffic here as he is riding behind that 660 of Garrett Miller. Garrett is just power in his car all over the track right now trying to stay on the lead lap right now as the leader of the 51 of AJM down to his inside looks like the 799 of Mike check might go with the 51 of AJM as we just have about two or three laps to go looking up in front of him looks like they're about to catch the 40 of veteran chaos as well so the 51 of AJM is going to get a little bit of a draft there, helped by the 660 of Garrett Miller. Garrett's going to try to let those two go as the 51 works to the back bumper of the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So running into traffic right now. As the 40 of Veteran Chaos goes a lap down, the 51 of AJM and the 799 of Mike Check have just absolutely ran away with this as of right now as we're going to get the white flag one lap to go here at Atlanta as they come off of turn three and four. So the 51 of AJM to the back bumper of that 799 of Mike Check. Just two more turns to go. The 51 of AJM working down to the inside right now, down the back stretch. It's going to be a close one here at the end of this race. 51 down to the inside, 799 to the outside. 
headed towards the front stretch. Your leader, as of they come off a of three and four, is going to be the 51 of AJM. Down to the stripe, looks like your winner today here at Atlanta is going to be the 51 of AJM. So very, very close right there at the end. A great draft by the 51. He is going to be able to pull in front of that 799 of Mike Check and making sure that that timing and scoring updates, and it does. So your winner here today is the 51 of AJM for MBR. Let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner is the 51 of AJM. Second will be the 799 of Mike Check. Third will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Fourth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Fifth will be the 49 of Jetman. Sixth will be the 88 of NM. Seventh will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Eighth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Ninth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 20 of Adam B5000. So a uh, tough break early on for several of these drivers, but awesome race there at the end for the 51 and the 799. Next week... We go to a medium-sized track for the Rockingham 80, so I'm looking forward to that one. It was an amazing race here today at Atlanta. Let's take a look at your current points, and I would venture to say that probably the 88 of NM is still the leader in the points, but you're seeing those here on the screen. Let's also take a look at your team and chassis standings as MBR had a, an amazing day today here at Atlanta. They had three drivers in the top 10, so that's going to be a great points day for them. Uh, Douche Motorsports did not have a great day here at Atlanta, and they're going to be hoping to pack up their cars and just head to the next one as... We're also looking at those chassis standings, which another, again, another good day for Dodge. Uh, Dodge has won all four races here in the More Freedom Series Season 4 to start off the season. So we're going to see, you're seeing the, all those points. Again, another great race here at Atlanta. Tough break early on for several of those drivers who were involved in that caution. Um, a, a significant amount of drivers involved in that caution. Almost half the field. And uh, But it was an amazing race there at the end between the 799 and the 51. Uh, congratulations to the 51 of AJM. He is your winner here today at Atlanta. And until next week... At Rockingham, take care.